Hello and welcome to the Mike Less Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Less guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, in today's video, I am out in the field with TK Farms out of Greenville, Ohio, as they are finishing up one of their last soybean fields for the 2022 season at a farm near Whitewater, Indiana. Whitewater, Indiana is just north of Richmond, Indiana, and just a few miles in from the Ohio Indiana state line. In this video, you will see them harvesting soybeans with their Kloss Lexion 8600 combine pushing a Macdon FD140 Flex Draper head. Also in the video, to move the crop from the combine to the trucks, they are using their Challenger MT765C track tractor pulling a Unverfurth 1015 grain cart on tracks. I recently posted a video of this combine harvesting winter wheat back in the end of June of 2022. And if you've not seen that video, I'll put the link to it at the end of this one. This video opportunity worked out pretty good. We were shelling corn and we got done a little early because the dryer bin was full. Everything was full. I had a little extra time. They were just 10 miles away from me. So I was able to run over here and get this footage. This is not a super long video, mostly drone footage, but I was able to get a few shots from outside on the ground. And I also got to ride inside the combine and talk to the guy running it. A couple quick specs on this combine. The Kloss 8600 combine is powered with a MAN D26 engine. That is a six-cylinder diesel engine, 12.8 liters in size, rated at 483 horsepower with a max horsepower rating of 542 horsepower. This combine has a top speed of 25 mile per hour, a 510 bushel grain tank that can unload at 5.1 bushels per second. And another thing I want to point out, as you know, my YouTube channel, I feature about every kind of machine out there that I can find. So you see all makes of combines, but look at the grain sample in the tank right there. That is a very clean sample. These guys got their combine dialed in. There's no pods, any debris in the tank. You also see some shots coming up later on down inside the grain cart as they unload into the truck. And just again, look at that grain sample and tell me what you think. This combine does a superior job. Of course, they got this thing dialed in. This farm here, they actually calibrate their yield monitor in every single field. Most combines these days do have yield monitors on them, but it's very important to get those calibrated and dialed in just perfectly. As you combine through the year, change crops, conditions change, things change. So what they do is they use the scales on their grain cart. They'll go out, they'll harvest a bin full, they'll weigh it on here, and then they'll compare it and dial the yield monitor in. I've heard some people even say that yield monitors are not accurate. They're fairly close. They give you an idea. I disagree with that. A lot of farmers will disagree with that, but you do have to check them regularly and get them dialed in. And also, it's just like the combine. There's a lot of different manufacturers of combines out there. I think everybody today builds a decent combine that does a really good job, but you can take the best combine in the world, not have it set right, and it can do a terrible job and vice versa. So it is very important that settings are everything. Of course, crop conditions change. There are certain conditions where you just can't get them perfect. But anyways, like I said, everybody makes a decent machine. They now have the field opened up. They're getting ready to unload on the go. And like I said, take the time, look down inside that grain tank of the combine in the grain cart and look at that grain sample. And of course, we also have to mention the superior operator that is sitting in the cab of that combine running it right now.
that's going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please go down there and hit that like button. Feel free to comment below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider going down there and hitting that subscribe button. Check back often. I have a lot of great content coming from this harvest season here to get edited up here on my YouTube channel. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.